we, defenders of free speech, people who oppose cancel culture, actually winning? Over the last few days, we've seen Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, other icons of the current free speech movement celebrating a policy from Netflix meant to tell employees who are upset about content they disagree with to kick rocks. It's called the Artistic Expression Policy. And it states, we program for a diversity of audiences and tastes, and we let viewers decide what's appropriate for them versus having Netflix censor specific artists or voices. The policy goes on to say, if you find it hard to support our content breadth, Netflix may not be the place for you. That's a powerful statement to employees who've been rallying in opposition to Dave Chappelle and others who speak against the current political correctness. But should we be celebrating this? Is this actually a sign that change is on the horizon? I've had so many conservative friends send me messages saying, look at this, Netflix is agreeing with us, Netflix is standing with us. But the problem has never been one particular company. The problem was never one business and could not be fixed by one policy. The reality is that this is a small piece of a much bigger issue. And the bigger issue being big businesses across North America choosing to politicize themselves. How do we fix that? Well, I don't think Netflix can fix it alone. In fact, I think we need to change the incentives that exist in our economy today for businesses to become so political alienating anyone but the most liberal consumers. And there was some news recently to be hopeful on that front. A friend of mine, the author of Woke Inc., Vivek Ramaswamy, started a new asset management company called Strive Asset Management. And the goal of this company, with the uh, $20 million they've raised so far in support from business titans like Peter Thiel, is to build a movement called excellence capitalism. This is how they describe it. A new movement that leads American companies to focus exclusively on delivering excellent products and services to their customers, rather than mixing business with politics. This movement of excellent capitalism is the bright spot here. If there can be meaningful competition with today's big asset managers like BlackRock and Vanguard, if there's someone who's gonna be able to encourage business leaders to stay out of politics and not sacrifice getting access to capital in the process, that is gonna be how we change business culture and how we separate business from politics. We need to create an alternative source of funding to the current big asset managers who use their wealth to push a political agenda. And I hope that Strive Asset Management is just the beginning. That's how we're gonna change things, not the Netflix policy. Mm -hmm.